Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bridge Megafauna. And for this very special episode, we'll be featuring the LEGO Costume Jurassic World Euclid Doceros. But before we head on with this video, the guest's PC contest winners will be announced later on in the video, so stay tuned for it, guys. And now on with the making of our Euclid Doceros. And so we start off with this simple base figure uh, and using this garden wire, we make the armature for our antlers. So after that, we use non-sag epoxy equal parts A and B to build up on the uh, final um, you know, uh, shape of our antlers here. And carefully, we're creating our antlers using our clay epoxy here. So just flipping some uh, a little bit of clay at a time on each of the armatures so that everything would be nice and um, you know uh, thin. So after this one, once it's dried and cured, it's now time for us to uh, base color our um, Euclidosers, and we actually used number 68 Bosni in gray. So once that's dried around one to two hours, it's time for us to paint. So we'll be using some brushes here, also our acrylics over there, and some water. And now it's time for us to dig on some painting on this uh, Euclidosaurus. So we start up with this particular color. This is a mixture of um, burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow ochre, and some white. So we spread this all over the creature or all over our deer here on most of the areas where we have uh, fur on it. So that includes the actually dent our body. <laughs> so I usually do uh, one or two coats at least for for browns because they're easily taken up by our uh, by our um, primer here. So for the neck area, this is actually a little bit darker. So this is uh, actually a mixture of what we had earlier on. Just makes a little bit of black to it. Don't be trigger happy on the black so that it's not too dark. Alright, so once that is done, it's now time for us to have some details on our Euclidosaurus. So among the details would be, you know, lighter areas in the areas of the skin, on the eyes, and also on the mouth area. This is very similar to the deers that were actually, you know, uh, done on the Bambi um, cartoon animation. Also, Bambi has, um, you know, dots or what do you call that? Um, for detailing on the body area. So we're putting those as well on our uh, Euclidosaurus here. Just to give it some interest. Our Euclidosaurus also has several, you know, tones of browns also on the entire body. So we're coloring those with a mixture of uh, yellow ochre, a little bit of brown, and some peach colors to it. So this would include actually those on the hooves, the underside of the tail, as you can see here, and also the underbelly of our Euclidosaurus. Take note that the uh, tufts of the hairs on the um, tail of our Euclidosaurus is actually lighter colored as well. Now we're just painting here the hooves of our Euclidosaurus. It's a light gray color. Once that's done, it's time for us to paint on the antlers. So the antlers here is a little bit strange. I wanted it to have a different color so that it's not all brown. So this is actually a mixture of burnt sienna, uh, some olive green, a little bit of yellow ochre, some blacks, and white. And all it needs now is some more details, such as those in the eyes, the nose, and so on. And that ends our the making of our Euclidosaurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned something from it as well. Now it's time for us to move on with the winners of our Guesses PC contest. And first up, we have 10 lucky picks, of course. And here they are. Sonis, Ellie Joriel, Christopher, Mamad Mamad, Cezanne, and South Africa, Emperor of Tunes, Hazel 4, Goji Fan, Mikhail, congratulations everyone and of our top 10 winners. 
Top ten. Jacktastic. Top Two one key. Top, Top eight. Nine four R T H. Top seven. Spinosaurus. Top six. I'll turn that. Top five. Hunter hints. Top four. Eden Stevenson. Top three. Rooney ML Tankilisan. Top two. Cretaceous Bricks. Top four. Green Fury the Alasaro Faganex Gen 2. Congratulations, everyone! And for those of you who would like to join our Extinct Bricks PC Roll Call, here's how. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage. In the homepage, just click on the community link and it will lead you to all our posts. And now, on with some Extinct Bricks Dino Trivia. The Euclidosaurus, or Greek, meaning well branched antler or bush antler deer, is an extinct genus of deer whose fossils have been discovered in Europe, Middle East, and Central Asia. Alright, so we're back here for our closer look on our Euclidosaurus and of course Asher here is really happy because he's actually fond of Archaeodactyls which are hooved creatures. So um, this is actually similar to what I've done before with our Meg uh, Megalosaurus and um, uh, you will see it later on in the video as we compare it. But now Asher will be coming back later but let's continue on with the closer look. So for the closer look here, you can see here that the most prominent feature of this creature is actually its antlers. So if we're going to count the number of projections on the antlers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 on one antler times 2, so that's 22. Um, it's almost the same size or as big as the body, so as you can see here, it's really large. And uh, although that is really the case, it can actually stand on its own. It doesn't actually fall off like that of my Megalosaurus. But yeah, um, the coloration on this one is based on from the Jurassic World Alive Megalosaurus with uh, markings on the body, uh, uh, on the sides. Uh, however, I made several adjustments in terms of how the face would look like. Uh, this is based off from Bambi and you know, most um, animated uh, deers uh, in several series and other cartoons. You can see that as well, so it looks very uh, similar to that. Uh, the hooves are actually painted gray, and you can see on the butt region, it's actually lighter than the coloration on the entire body. Uh, the eyes are black with, you know, um, catch lights there, so it looks really, really cute. So, um, that is our Euclidosaurus, uh, um, closer look on you guys, although it doesn't have any, you know, articulations like most horses in Lego form, but it does have this, um, 2x2 two two, uh, Lego stud on its back and you can remove it and then probably put a saddle on it and of course, uh, minifigures can ride on the Euclidosaurus. So yeah, so that is one of the features for our our Euclidosaurus and uh, that's the closer look on our Euclidosaurus all right so moving on with our uh, size comparisons of course let's compare compare first with our uh, minifigure here uh, uh, Usher so Usher here when compared with a uh, comparison picture here with a Euclidosaurus in a human body uh, you can see here that it's almost, oops, the same size. See? And now let's move on with other creatures that we have so far here on our channel, shall we? First up, we have a small Archidactyl here. This is our Synthoceros. So, uh, this one also is a really cute one. It's based off from a Gams box um, coloration, gray, white, uh, black with you know uh, horns on its nose and also horns on its back so more likely represents that of an antelope but a small one as you can see here we can compare also with usher so it's really a relatively small um uh, creature okay. so that's the synthetosaurus for you guys let's move on with the next archaeodactyl we actually have the quagga <laughs> So our Kuwagi here is um, one of my earliest creations from the 
So then let's start replying or from the um, or my megafauna line. So uh, it represents a zebra and it actually looks like one except that it has white stripes and a brown coat to it. So uh, comparing it in size, I think the hooves and the body are actually almost the same as you can see here. Uh, only that our um, Kawage here has a two stud on, on the back because its uh, body is actually arch like so. Um, uh, but in terms of height, it's uh, definitely our um, Euclidosaurus here is much taller because mainly of its large, large antlers. Okay, so let's uh, move on with our next one. We have here the Aurex. <laughs> so our Aurex here is actually also one of my earlier designs. Um, I wanted to do this one uh, before because, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Zoo Tycoon 2, uh, the Oryx is actually one of those creatures that are actually also in that particular game. So here's the Oryx for you guys. Pretty much like a cow, but um, it, it's more bulkier and uh, 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 it has a white stripe on its back. And also uh, lighter tops of brown hair on its head. Okay, so we now have here the uh, Megalosaurus. Oops! <laughs> Their horns are so big or antlers. So the Megalosaurus here, as you can see here, is actually attached to this uh, base plate because uh, it will easily fall off because of the heaviness of its large, large antlers. So it seems like our Euclidosaurus here has a larger reach in terms of antler size, but uh, bulkiness wise, our Megalosaurus here wins the uh, battle in terms of how big or how heavy uh, their antlers are. Okay, so our, uh, uh, what do you call this? Our Megalosaurus actually has uh, several articulations. Um, it can move its head up and down, right and left, and um, it also has this um, uh, studs on its back. And that's it! Our Megalosaurus compared to our Euclidosaurus. <laughs> Alright, so let's again move on with our next um, mega form of picture we have. Our recent uh, Macrochania or Macronichia. However you call it, but yeah, so this is actually one of the videos that I've done uh, just recently. Uh, it represents that of a, I don't know, it's a mix between an elephant, a camel, uh, a, hippopotamus, a hippopotamus, and I don't know. It's a mixture of anything, uh, you know, that represents it, an anteater, an 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 anteater I guess. So yeah, so comparing it in size in terms of uh, uh, height. The head here is much taller than our uh, Euclidosaurus, but definitely uh, because the um, you know the sheer size of those antlers, uh, our Euclidosaurus is much larger still with our uh, Macronychia. Next up on our comparison, yeah, this is our Cephalotherium. Yeah, I like this one because it uh, it's very similar to that of an Aquapi, one of my favorite you know. Um, uh, living creatures very similar or very related to that of giraffes so you can see here that it's much much taller in terms of you know shoulder size uh, the, the head also is far beyond you know uh, the, the height of our Euclidosaurus but uh, in terms of height you know overall height um, our Cephatherium is a little bit you know, taller than our Euclidosaurus yeah, so if you haven't guys seen our Sympatherium video, please check it out. It's in the Extinct Breeze playlist, guys. Okay, so what would be the predators that would uh, that our Euclidosaurus would be encountering? So one would be this Ampicion. Okay, so our Ampicion here is a prehistoric dog, canine, if you may. Uh, this is actually based off from the Jurassic World the game um, Ampicion. So I like the colors on this one, it's very fiery red and then with stripes of white on its entire body. So that's the MPCN for you guys. Another one would be a very you know prominent predator of the Cenozoic era. This is our 
Smilodon. <laughs> Look at how big that is. So this is actually a creation by EB Toy Universe. So Mike actually created this one. Uh, I like the details on our um, uh, what do you call this? Smilodon. And you can see here that there are tubs of hair on its back, which made it a lot larger than it is. So that's the Smilodon for you guys. So guys, please check this video guys on the EB, EB Toy Universe channel. And that's it for the size comparison guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's now move on with Extinct PC Roco. And we have here the lineup of what I've shown you earlier on. Uh, if you guys have other, you know, suggestions of other creatures that you'd like to see here on Extinct Bridge channel then please put it down put them down in the email in the comments down below also uh uh usher here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here are available in our extinct breaks playlist but i will be placing in individual links of each of the creatures here so that you won't have to look them up one by one on all uh, hundreds of my custom creations so far okay so let's now start with our extinct bricks PC roll call. Starting with Extinct Bricks Aurox. This is our Extinct Bricks Sigothelia. Extinct Bricks Walking with Bees Macaronchea. This is our Extinct Bricks Quagga. Our Extinct Bricks Synthetosaurus. Our Extinct Bricks Megalosaurus. Extinct Bricks Ampicien. And EB Toy Universe is Spelladon from Jurassic World again. And of course, it's hard to show here. This is our Extinct Bricks Euclidosaurus from Jurassic World Alive. Alright, and that's it for our video so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be placing in several more video clips of our Euclidosaurus here, so stay tuned until the end of the channel. Or, I mean, the video. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you and please like and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe on our other channel Extinct Bricks and the Adventures of Myra and Asher. Of course, bye-bye.